The overall goal of this procedure is to enable a microorganism to evolve in laboratory conditions. This method can help answer key questions in the microbiology field, such as genome function relationships, stress responses, metabolic engineering, and of course, evolution. The main advantage of this technique is continuous selection of the most suited descendant under specific laboratory conditions. Begin this procedure with the preparation of equipment, as well as initial medium, stress medium, and high stress medium, as described in the text protocol. Inoculate a single colony of wild type E. coli in a 15 milliliter test tube containing 4 milliliters of initial medium. Incubate the test tube in a shaking incubator for 12 hours at 37 degrees Celsius and 220 RPM. Incubate the chemostat jar, providing for aeration and agitation, at 37 degrees Celsius for 6 hours. Following the incubation, aseptically connect the end of the silicon tubing from the pumps to the chemostat jar. Aseptically transfer 1 milliliter of preculture to the chemostat jar. Start the outlet pump and collect the culture in the exponential phase. Check the optical density at 600 nanometers of the culture from the outlet tubing. Then, start the inlet pump. Check the optical density of the culture at 600 nanometers from the outlet tubing every 24 hours. After operating the chemostat for 96 hours, which is a 9.6-fold turnover, exchange the reservoir to the lowest concentration of high-stress medium.